What's good with the gang around the globe, man? It's your boy Weezy. We back again with another video, man. We got another, you know, we might be checking out Guy Williams again, but this time he's going to be uh, meeting up with the mongrel mob in New Zealand, man. Shout out to my guy. Um, Hold on, I'm going to go back to it, man. He sent it to me on the DMs. South Dot uh, Production with two Ds and the underscore. You know, he said it's a rival gang that the Tanify used to be in. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it, fellas. Hit that like button if you're ready for this video, man. And sub to the channel if you're new to join the global gang. Let's get it. And y'all told me that the last of everything that was basically real, he was just, you know, but for the main, like the dolphin and all that, real, that's crazy. Really need to change that name, eh? Home to a very suspiciously shaped dentist. Bring back pizza, you bastards. <laughs> And home to Hale's Kitchen, a healthy eating Facebook page with over 100,000 followers kitchen. aimed at helping Kiwis eat right. Is but there's one significant catch. It's run by the Mongrel Mob, New Zealand's most notorious gang. Ooh, trying to um, fight obesity and um, diabetes. Mm. What a what? Trying to um, fight obesity. I was so busy looking at his tattoos all over his face. I didn't even read. Trying to fight obesity and diabetes. And, um, mm. Why was a gang so worried about health eating? Or was there an ulterior motive? There was only one way to get answers. We okay. dropped deep into mob. Now I'm a little confused. So the gang's goal is to stop obesity and diabetes. Sounds like sounds like a good country cost. for a meeting with a well-known Hale's Kitchen contributor, Coe the Rogue. Hello, hello. Who's there? Guy Williams. How's it going? Um, yeah, huh? nice to meet you. Fuck, you're tall, eh, mate? <laughs> Fuck, ugly cunt. <laughs> I've got to be honest. I'm a little bit nervous about doing this interview. What do you think that is? He's um. Man. Man, do you reckon you guys show. need to be any closer, or...? Well, I think we're quite good. <laughs> With Coey's they said, main... They said, nah. <laughs> they said, nah, we're gonna stay right where we at. <laughs> said, nah, we're quite good. <laughs> Who let you stay in that danger? Oh, man. Man got the... That, the I, know, I know that's the sign. Got it on both cheeks. Max constantly lurking behind the camera with a metal bar. This was one of the most tense interviews that Look I've ever done. The Hale's Kitchen thing and you trying to be better for communities and stuff like yep. that, that is a little bit incongruous with being a mobster. Fuck, that is the most fucked up statement I've heard in a long time, my bro. Okay, what do you yep. mean by that? The Mongol mob have been bro. doing good deeds in the community way before I was born. But the Mongol mob also do bad things in the community as well. I know individuals do bad things in the community. I've been in and out of prison for quite some time, but it's all changed, got children now, and I'm just trying to help our community, help the country, and eventually try and help the world. Okay, and you're gonna do all this while you've got, um, if you don't mind me bringing up the elephant in the room, you've got giant <laughs> swastika tattoos on your cheeks. Every mark on my body tells a story. It takes me back to a time of my life. What time do the swastikas take you back to? Is it World War II? <laughs> Damn, man, he said World War II. You fucking, <laughs> you fucking cunt. Now, I heard you went to jail because you saw a Black Power member and tried to slash him with a machete. You cut off the guy's thumb. <laughs> Fuck your good old no, no, no. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, you've done some homework. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah well, I've done seven years for it. I've done my time. Do you regret doing that a little bit? I just regret not wearing a mask. Did your, um, I'm gonna do a joke. But the now. man's thumb off. Right? Yeah, all good. Did your highly distinctive facial tattoos give you away? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Why are you so committed to healthy eating, do you think? Oh, well, that's self explanatory. 
you live healthier, you live greater lives. The sad thing about it is it can be expensive to, to eat healthy, eh? It's going to always be 95 cents for a cheeseburger. Healthy, eh? That's always going to cost $2.54 a carrot. I just, if this was a normal interview and I wasn't pissing myself right now, <laughs> what I would do is I'd call you out for saying a carrot costs $2.50. Exactly. Like, Where are you buying your carrot from, man? What are you doing? <laughs> exactly. No, 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 from North Korea. So how, how did you get into cooking? When did you learn to cook? I just learned how to cook about two, two three years ago. And so I used to be extremely rich. So I never had to cook restaurants every single night for years. All of a sudden, I um, decided to pick up a meth habit and I smoked my empire. So um, when you've got no more money, you need to learn how to cook, bro. So that's what... Damn. Man, he lost all his money. Well, I'm down with Hale's Kitchen. Fry your food, not yourselves, because I was that guy that fried himself once upon a time and lost everything. So yeah, Ooh. I'm a changed man now. Yeah. Fry, fry your food, not yourselves. That's something I think everybody should like note down. You're not just someone who's trying to spread a message though, you're also kind of like a bit of a personality, Fair. you're kind of an entertainer. Um, entertainer, yeah, yeah, a musician. Yeah, musician, you sing. yeah, yeah, I sing, sing rap. When you're married to the mob, baby, it's a full time job. Get down on your knees and satisfy the dog. Yeah, you okay. like that? It's, it's, it's quite an uh, explicit <laughs> song. <laughs> it is a great melody, though. It sticks in your head, and yeah. you are a talented singer as well. Oh, thank you, my bro. I wrote that July the 1st, my birthday last year. I was in um, Hawke's Bay Regional Prison in the Pound. I've learned that um, to use my jail time um, as a positive thing, uh, to use it to reflect and uh, manage my behavior and all that carry on. Do you want the prison experience? I can give that to you today. A little taste, no. just a little taste. You know, I, had to I don't think you want it. I the prison experience, <laughs> but instead, against my better judgment and our insurance policy, I got in the car and we hit the road. I don't agree with all the lyrical content, but I'm a big fan of Married to the Mob, man. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Maybe it could be like, so cook the family a feed and satisfy your dog. It might be a bit nicer than... <laughs> when you're married to the mob, baby, it's a full-time job. Cook your family a feed and satisfy your dog. <laughs> it's nice, it's nice. A bit yeah. more G-rated? Yeah, it's definitely G-rated. G for gay. No, 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 not gay. Uh, no, no, G for gay. We're not going to be homophobic. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You love our LBGT. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I noticed in one of your videos, <laughs> you're talking about... um. Shortland Street being a big thing in prison? Yeah, I love Shortland Street. Um, Dr. Chris Warner's my oh. favourite day, brother. He's big pimping. Yeah, but <laughs> do you not think loving Shortland Street is a bit incongruous with, you know, being a tough guy? No, bro. Hold up, loving what? What, what, what is he loving? What? Right, let me, let me go back. How about LBGT? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I noticed in one of your videos, you're talking about, um, Shortland Street being a big thing in prison? Yeah, I Shortland love Shortland Street. Street. Um, Dr. Chris Warner is my favourite day, brother. He's big pimping. Yeah, but <laughs> do you not think loving Shortland Street is a bit incongruous with, you know, being a tough guy? I think that's some oh, type of music. No way. See, that's that stereotype thing, eh? We're all humans. I'm a human just like you and the next fella. But people are going to watch this video and they're going to say, it doesn't matter what he says, you know? He's bad, he'll always be bad. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and how do you answer those people? You know? Don't focus on what I say, focus on what I do. What I do. I spent the afternoon with Koei and we did everything. We fed his cousin's friend Facts. the dog. <laughs> Just gonna oh, leave this to leave now. Sampled some prison noodles. friendly dog. This is how we always have our prison noodles. No, no, that is not allowed. That is fucked. <laughs> that is fucked. That's what we fucking do. That's not okay. But here, take a bite. I haven't seen you take a bite. Yeah, I'm just saving mine for a good <laughs> later. He <laughs> dropped off supplies. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saving mine for good times later. <laughs> he ain't trying to eat Donated that by shit. his Facebook followers for he the homeless. He's not trying to eat that. These are some of our Street Brothers guy. Okay. So what I've been doing is going around and I'm just helping our Street Brothers and sisters as much as I can. Yeah. And using social media uh, as a platform to try and hopefully um, influence and inspire whanau at home to do the same around New Zealand. Yeah. It was a surreal day. Koei That's was tough. a genuinely lovely guy who seemed like he was on a mission to help the community. But I still couldn't see past his continued involvement with the mob. Could a self-described mobster still be a good person? I needed a second. I opinion. think so. The next day, <laughs> I decided to ask I the people so. of Gisborne what they thought of the mob's contributions to the community. Is the mongrel mob positive or negative in the community? Positive. Why positive? 
Oh, because if Mungrel Mobs were in this community, would you still be here filming? <laughs> yeah, mm. okay, good one, Jack. Take the crime away. Mm. There's a lot of good characters in there. You can't just say take the crime away. Oh, I'd take 9 11 away, and I'll tell you what, Al Qaeda, not that bad. Would the Mungrel Mob encourage you to eat healthy? I already eat healthy, so. Okay. What sort of healthy food do you eat? Oh, that was a lie. <laughs> Shit, I got caught out. Yeah. <laughs> they do good and they do bad. What is the positive? To get people to eat healthy. OK, and what is the bad? The beatings and, you know... I don't want to sound <laughs> cheeky here, but those th things don't seem to balance up that well. I was still conflicted. The people <laughs> of Gisborne were right. There were a lot of positives. To get people to eat healthy. But there were a lot of negatives too. The beatings and, you know... I didn't want to promote the gang lifestyle that Koei had that's... very strongly committed to, but this rogue seemed to genuinely that is want strange. to help his community. Oh, they do bad but then their main goal is about eating healthy they just throw everything off and who knows maybe i could help him good to see you again right. colin how's it going mate <laughs> guy what the fuck are you wearing bro fuck. well you don't like the blue next time you see me change it eh? change the suit bro yeah. okay yeah, you got yeah i've been thinking about a lot this this has been one you of the most they interesting stories he got on blue ever, <laughs> been a part of. he did that on purpose too <laughs> He did not think about that. He did that on purpose. Came in an all blue suit. Um, even though I Come on. obviously don't agree with everything you've done <laughs> in your past, I think your heart's in the right place and you're doing a lot of good stuff. And you've shown me that you can make a real difference in this community, which is wonderful. And I'd love to um, try and help out a little bit. Okay, how so? I'm a little bit nervous of, of what you got to offer. You got, you got no I faith mean, in me? Well, you're full of surprises. <laughs> Using the crew's TV skills and my editing skills, I could okay. help make Hale's Kitchen bigger than Jamie Oliver. This was hey. Koei's Kitchen. Hey, Fano, uh, welcome to Koei's Kitchen. Today we've got a special guest, Guy Williams. What the fuck is that? It's my suit. Nah, it's either red or nothing, bro. Mm. <laughs> so today, Fano, we're going to cook a steak meal or salad. <laughs> uh, we're going to just chuck uh. our steaks on one minute each side. Oh. He goes, oh shit! Oh fuck! 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 <laughs> 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 oh damn! <laughs> the wind blowing hard as shit. I don't shit. want him to blow away there because I don't, I don't like littering. So there you go, Fano. <laughs> Nutritious, healthy, delicious, and wonderful. Before we go, I'd like to finish off with a quote that I made up: "Love your husbands, love your wives, love your children." Kobe the Rogue. Cheers, bro. Koei's Kitchen Fast. was a huge hit, but before we said goodbye, husband, there was still doubt in the back of my too. mind. People see this and go, oh, look at Guy, he's, you know, gone and spoken to this, you know, to this what? mobster. Oh, you thought you were going to say magnificent. Mobster. Individual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you know, like giving you a little bit of spotlight when you don't deserve it kind of thing. Yeah, I've done a lot of things that I, that I can't take back, that I regret, yep. <laughs> It doesn't make me a bad person and it shouldn't mean that I don't deserve the spotlight or to be human, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we're good people. I just want to say that I feel sorry for anybody who can't see that. Yeah. I'm not sure what to make of my time spent with Koei the Rogue, but I learned a lot. I learned how to make prison noodles. I learned not to judge a book by its cover, even if that cover has two big swastikas painted on it. <laughs> and I learned a great new family-friendly song. When you're married to the mob, Baby, it's a full-time job. Yeah. Cook your family a feed and satisfy the dog. When yeah. You Guy Williams, mob, New <laughs> Zealand it's a today. Full -time job. <laughs> Cook your family. Hey, that was lit, man. So yeah, man, it looked like the mongrel mob, man. And they got see they do good and do good and do bad. I guess we just need to figure out why they doing bad. Who knows? But I mean, that could be a lot of things. But that was Guy Williams is funny, yo. How he just be so like, <laughs> it's like he's serious, but it's funny at the same time. Y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Let me know what we need to check out next. And this is what we gonna start doing, man. Whatever y'all comment in the comment section, make sure y'all like. If y'all want me to check out, you know, a certain video the most, make sure y'all like that comment, man, so I can know. You know, make it easier for your boy. And uh, hit that like button, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, sub if you're new to join the global gang. Mongrel Mob, the interesting gang in New Zealand. <laughs> Y'all let me know. 
uh, some more what I need to know about them boys. And uh, follow your boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Stream on Twitch just about daily, man. You already know, man. The grind never, ever stops, man.